it's exciting from the first second you walk into the theater because not only are you surrounded by other bat bands and by kids wearing Batman costumes and everybody, you know, well, excited to be some in, adults as well. And some adults <laughs> as well. <laughs> excited to be in the city. But when you walk in and you see the stage, which has this enormous footprint in the arena, it's actually the stage itself is a map of Gotham City. So you walk in and you see Gotham City, you see three dimensional buildings that have risen up out of the stage. I got really, really excited and and I, I wanted to get more involved um, because I believed in it so much. I just think it's it's really terrific to have Batman. You've seen him through animation, video games, comic books, but you've never seen this. Like this is a new experience, and Batman's the character to do it because the idea of, especially with the story of Robin and the circus and all that, the idea of seeing it actually happen in front of you and, and witnessing what people can do by making themselves push the human you know, the human peak of perfection. Uh, the, the, all the actors are doing what Batman can do. So I, I got excited about it. I, I think it's a great, great opportunity for DC Entertainment, and in particularly for for kids that and families that want to experience Batman in a different way. Um, also, Robin really has been introduced in um, in a big way in media for several years. So this is the fact that the story that Ellen wrote is all about the emotional relationship and the origin of the Batman Robin team is is a massive win for DC Entertainment. Um, you know, I had the easy part. I just drew the comic books themselves, <laughs> and and then they did uh, all the heavy lifting and interpreted that. And they really took all the artwork and took it to a whole different level. I mean, if you look at the stage and the designs, and the uh, the big screen that they have behind all the the actors, uh, you really see that they took it to a very theatrical level. I mean, it's very Wagnerian in, in that sense, and it's epic in its scope, and it, it, it's very immersive. And there's things going on. At, you know, all over the place, and I think that's something that is very hard to capture on paper. And then, of course, they've got a great score and music and all that stuff, and pyrotechnics. This is all the stuff you can't draw, so in that sense, I was very jealous of what they were able to do. And then at the back, as Jim has said, we have a 105-foot video screen, LED video screen, in the shape of a bat that shows you the entire cityscape of Gotham City. You've got helicopters flying overhead, you've got blimps flying overhead, and you hear the city. You hear, you know, as the as the sun goes down and the lights go on in Gotham City, it is, as Jim said, very immersive. You start to see the people of Gotham City come out on stage, you start to hear the, the sounds and the sirens, and and then suddenly the story sort of comes to life, like you're there, you're in the middle of it. Yeah, it's amazing. That first moment flying in as Batman, um, it's quite iconic. The I don't want to give it away, you have to come see the show. <laughs> but uh, there's a bat signal and, and Batman does come in and um, you know, like everyone goes crazy, whether they're kids or, or comic book fans or you know people for the first time. It's, it's really iconic. I mean, and Batman's uh, a very versatile character. Um, you can do it, you can portray him in many, many different ways. I think uh, taking the comic book and bringing it to life is something that hasn't been done with this character in 70 some odd years. So I think the upside is showing the world a whole different side to Batman and doing it in a way that you, is very immersive and epic and you feel like you're in Gotham City. I think that's a huge win for, for DC Entertainment and I think it's a great way of showcasing Batman to a whole new audience. This is really for everybody. This is for anyone who likes Batman from families, hardcore fans. Um, it really is a, a story that Alan's crafted that is accessible for everybody. Well, he's an amazingly versatile character. I mean, he definitely has darkness yeah. around him, but he's also the ultimate idealist in that he thinks that as, a, as an ordinary man, he can make a difference in this city. Um, so we sort of borrowed the tone of uh, Batman the Animated Series, which was a, a very sophisticated uh, animated uh, take on, on Batman and his mythology that was aimed for ki at, at kids and at fanboys and at the entire family. Was and they did a really successful job at balancing everything that Batman is um, without excluding anybody. Like I said, I mean, uh, Batman, because he's a superhero with no powers, and, and you know, in that sense, he's the... the ultimate aspirational character and I think uh, when you talk about doing a stage show that showcases what superheroes uh, would look like in real life, um, I've seen plenty of them at conventions but I've never seen them dropping from the ceilings down at you and so I think in that sense this is this is the ultimate realization of that fantasy. So yeah he's a fantastic character but we had to um to find you know something that would work in, in an arena and uh, I think we've done that as, as we said there's there's spectacular sequences there's fighting there's flying there's um, uh, some great stuff with the Batmobile which has uh, been designed by Gordon Murray who's um, a Formula One racing car uh, designer so uh, it really is spectacular and as, you're, as we said as an audience member you just 
you feel like you're in Gotham City and you can't escape it till the very end. You're dragged through this comic book. Uh, it's unlike any Batmobile you've ever seen. It's still the Batmobile, but the fact that they made it, uh, they made it work on stage and. And, um, and Alan, I think you talked about the realistic... The, sp the specifics of it, the specifications yeah. of it are all reality-based. It, it, he can tell you how every part on that car works and what it's based on and the technology that drives it. It's fantastic. It's got some really cool gadgets as well. It, it really it? does. Yeah. I think yeah. it's the first Batmobile without wheels too, right? It's some yeah, sort yeah, of yeah, 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 it's thing. crazy. Oh, you're giving it away. Yeah, yeah, don't don't yeah. give it away. Oh, don't right, give it away. So it's, it's amazing. I think yeah. if you go to BatmanLive.com, you might see some pictures yeah. there, but I don't want to give it away. Thank you.